Well, one of our top stories is that Iran has captured a U.S. drone. Let's talk about this with uh, Nader Mokhtari, who is a columnist and commentator. He joins us from London. Nader Mokhtari, let's talk about this uh, most recent capture. Uh, it's a scan eagle. It's set to be f about four feet long, 10 foot uh, in terms of its wingspan, roughly three meters. Tell us more about that, this model and also the fact uh, that Iran was able to bring this down and from what we see uh, from the pictures intact. Well, the Scan Eagle is, um, entered service in 2005. It's one of the smaller UAVs. It's operated by the uh, U.S. Special Forces. As a matter of fact, it's not operated from a large naval vessel. It's designed to be operated from uh, small air fast uh, patrol boats of the uh, U.S. Special Forces. Um, and the various um, developments, various new um, innovations have been added to this, to this um, craft one of which the world's smallest aperture radar is called Nanosar, which was added in 2009. Now, if that is on board, which most definitely is, um, this, this, uh, this uh, UAV, then it makes this catch very, very important because small aperture radars are a speciality of, of the U.S. and the technology is highly advanced. And it will come in handy for Iran, for sure, um, for all sorts of uses. So this is a major, major loss for um, the U.S. armed forces and the U.S. Techno technological advancement in the field. Um, other areas of uh, UAV operations, um, since Iran has been a pioneer since the early 1980s and the sacred defense, um, are not really that important. But this radar makes this catch a, a very, very worthy catch indeed. And uh, if you want to look at... Uh uh, the number of times that this has occurred now, it's been said that, uh, especially recently, seems like the, uh, the violations of Iran's airspace has increased. Uh, uh, what, what can be done? Obviously, it's illegal, I would assume. It's against international law, spying on another country through these spy drones. Uh, we know that uh, UN's, uh, Iran's UN ambassador, Mama Khazai, has complained on a number of occasions uh, to the UN. What more can be done here? And wh what is this showing regarding the increase in the number of times that this has uh, uh, occurred, especially recent, recently? Well, Washington, the United States, and its allies in the region have made a complete mess of the Middle East region. Um, but, but it goes without saying that the entire world now knows about um, the troubles they've caused and the, and the mess they've got themselves into. Um, and it's going to be very difficult for them to get out. As for the violations, any violation of um, any country's airspace, uh, it constitutes an act of war against that particular country. But for now, um, since the Americans appear to have problems with their, uh, with their encoding um, of, of these um, of the communication systems on this, on this uh, UAV, these drones, uh, Iran is quite happy to uh, capture these and put the technology to good use. So um, the U.S. can put as many UAVs as it likes over Iran. Um, it doesn't make many odds because quite, it's quite clear that uh, the um, computer codes um, of the United States Armed Forces have been compromised, um, which is why Iran is able to, to hack into them and bring them down in, in one piece and then uh, study them for further development. That's good to see you. Thank you so much. Nada Mokhtari, their columnist and commentator from London.